Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Cooking with Albi. So as you read the title today, we're going to make an American classic dish, the macaroni and cheese. So I'm sure a lot of people, you know, uh, that are watching this video right now love this dish, you know, the kids love this normally and I'm sure the adults still love it. So let's check out our ingredients that we have for our recipe today. So we have obviously some uh, macaronis, then I have some cheese, so I have two kinds. Here I have some grated parmesan and some grated cheddar. Then I have some uh, flour, some butter, some milk, and I have uh, also some uh, turmeric powder and some nutmeg. So this is going to be the little extra flavor that I'm going to add to my uh, mac and cheese today. So let's start uh, with uh, the beginning. We're going to uh, make the sauce and cook the pasta, so let's go. Alright, so what we're going to start with, guys, we're going to put this uh, butter in my uh, pot. So we're at uh, medium heat right now, so uh, the butter is going to melt. So you have to wait that your butter is all melted, and then we're going to add the flour. Now, adding my flour. So as you see, you're getting some kind of paste. So now, I'm still gonna keep this on medium heat. I'm gonna cook it for uh, five minutes. Okay, guys. So now, what I'm going to do? I'm gonna add my meal. So now, this meal gonna have. I'm gonna have a paste, really, really thick. I just put my meal, and now, I'm just going to add my meal little by little to my butter and flour. What we're doing guys right now is kind of like a bechamel sauce. Okay, but then we're gonna add some uh, cheese to make our macaroni and cheese. Now okay, guys, I'm going to uh, put my macaroni in my boiling water, so I added salt as well. All right, so those pasta is going to cook for about nine to 10 minutes. So now I'm going to finish my sauce, so I still need to add more milk all right so now i added all my milk so as you can see you know it's a little liquidy but now i'm going to add my uh, parmesan okay so my sauce is obviously going to get a little thicker okay so now i'm going to reduce the heat to low because we don't need to cook the cheese really we just need cheese to melt I have my now okay now I'm going to wait to put my pasta to put my cheddar inside but now what I can do I'm going to add a little bit of salt okay not too much because I'm putting some cheese already I'm gonna put some pepper I'm gonna add also guys some uh, turmeric powder so this is just you know to have like my macaroni and cheese like really yellow. I think it had a you know a nice touch to uh, to this plus a, a little uh, flavor. And I'm adding also a pinch of nutmeg. This is going to give me some extra flavor. Okay. Okay, guys. So my pasta are cooked. So now what I'm going to do. I'm going to strain them. So here are my pasta. So now I'm going to add my. My mixture. Okay, so now the cheddar is all melted, so I'm going to add my pasta. Okay. And that's we know that stuff to be some real mac and cheese. So as you can see, like we could like literally eat this mac and cheese right now, okay? Like it's 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 ready. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit more uh, milk because we're going to put this mac and cheese in the oven. And I don't want it to be uh, you know to dry up in the oven, basically. So I'm just adding extra extra milk just to make sure that uh, you know it's not dry when it comes out of the oven. So now we're there, guys. Perfect now guys, it's time to put it in the plate and straight into the oven. Okay, 
Okay guys, so now here is what I usually do. So me, I put half, half of my macaroni, so just like that. Some more cheddar here. Okay. to add all the real extra sauce that you have in your pan so what do you guys think it's not looking good already huh? I'm going to uh, put some aluminium foil on top of this mac and cheese put it in the oven for 15 minutes then I'm going to take off the, the aluminium foil add this cheddar on top and then that will be it end of our uh, mac and cheese, all right? Time to check Ooh. our macaroni and cheese. Ooh. So now guys, I'm just going to add some more cheddar cheese on top. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the oven for just five minutes, you know, everything is hot, it's cooked. I just want this cheese to melt, that's it. <laughs> There we go. There we go, my cheese Let's see a little bit what we got here. Yeah. Oh my god. So obviously we'll have to wait a little to eat that because it looks terribly hot. But also extremely good. Hi guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this uh, mac and cheese recipe. So, does it look good to you? Yeah, okay, I hope so. So, if you like this recipe, make it at home. Follow this channel if you didn't do it yet. And see you soon on my channel. Keep cooking, guys.